I've come to Clangothlin today to assist with the um, dedication of the frames. Um, the local branch of the Royal British Legion have turned out uh, in considerable numbers to support this project and it's one that we are pleased and honoured in fact to be linked with. The idea of a remembrance locomotive, um, Patriot class locomotive, with the name of the Unknown Warrior is one that is very dear to the heart of many people and of course it has a link between services and also uh, the many men who uh, worked on the railways without whom the job couldn't be done. We very much want to focus on, at this particular time, on Remembrance and the Poppy Appeal. The money we raise for the Poppy Appeal is there for the welfare of serving and ex-service staff and if, in particular this year we're focusing on those who are the young Afghan generation. Um, as I would put it, support for yesterday, today and tomorrow. <laughs> They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. And at the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. I suppose on occasion like this we are perhaps thinking back in a sombre mood, but also thinking about today and appreciating that we are free to live in our country today. And most of all, on this occasion, looking forward with some excitement to the coming of a old but new engine in our midst. At Clangock Railway, we've got many examples of classes of locomotives that took part in the important activities during the World Wars. Um, Probably some of the earlier versions of Black Five, which we have, would have been involved in troop trains, in evacuating children from Manchester or Liverpool or London. And certainly some of the heavy freight locomotives we have would have been involved in moving heavy freight. Not least things like thousands of gallons of fuel to airfields and munitions. And this, of course, put the crews very much at risk. So when we think back, we think of the many people who gave their lives in the war effort on railways. Coming right up to today, the Gotham Railway Engineering Department are very proud and pleased that they were selected to work with the Patriot Group on the new locomotive. That's a happy occasion and we look forward with excitement to the day when we see the Patriot running along the line. Thank you for allowing us to be part of it. Thank you. The Royal British Legion is actually delighted to be associated with this project. Um, the name of the Unknown Warrior brings about all kinds of thoughts when we think of servicemen, we think of railwaymen, we think of people who, at great cost to themselves, made sometimes the ultimate sacrifice. Many of those who were railwaymen have never properly been recognised, and I would hope that this um, engine, when it eventually gets onto the line, would at least go some way to recognising the contribution of the railway industry um, to those great conflicts. I was speaking to a young sergeant um, the week before last at our poppy launch and he said to me that the youngsters, and they are, many of them are youngsters, uh, 19, 20, 25 year olds out there uh, in Afghanistan and previously in Iraq really do appreciate the work that the poppy appeal uh, funds in terms of welfare. Um, the whole combination here brings together three important issues. Remembrance, welfare and uh, the people who are representing the Legion and your industries. I would finish by just saying that uh, this seems a, a fairly appropriate saying that we remember yesterday, today 
and for tomorrow and the support of the Legion will continue uh, as long as this project is going to run. Thank you for your time and we're delighted to be here. Um, and if we could now have the last vote. The Unknown Warrior is a symbol of all those people who um, went away and maybe never returned and we don't know where they are. They do not have their own marked grave. The, the phrase Unknown Warrior is an iconic phrase and to have a, an engine with such a name, with the Legion crest on it, um, associates two ideas. Part of the arrangement we have with the British Legion is that they've asked us to build the engine by 2018, which is the centenary of the armistice after the Great War. That's quite a doable target if we manage to raise enough money to build the engine. And we hope, of course, the engine will come back to Langothran Railway at various times in the future. But it will be made for mainline running, and we hope by then to talk to the Legion about um, running poppy trains with them so they can take their people out and our engine will be at the front because in a sense it will be their engine as well.